All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're done with our new underscore fact.php page. Now let's go ahead and check it out in our browser. So go ahead and go to localhost, whatever you named your folder, probably Village Park, and then new underscore fact, and create a user and a password. And call it anything you want. So I'm just going to call it ch, and then I'm going to type my password. And I'm going to hit create user. And if this updates to our database successfully, remember it should say, like, this has updated successfully. What did we have right here? user was successfully created. So that's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and create user. User was created successfully. Okay, uh, I could probably use a break tag right here to go, go ahead and hard code a break tag after created right here, after this string. So let's go and check out our database. So I'm gonna go to localhost and we're gonna see how this function right here, SHA1, correlated to our hashed password inside our database. So what did it do? Because my password I typed in was penny44, but let's look how we entered it into the database. Okay, so right here my password was penny44, PHP my admin, sterling users, here it is, okay, perfect. So here's my username, it logged in as ch, and my penny44 translated to this through our hashed password. Oh man, the fan's going crazy again, I'm sorry. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, so my, my password I typed in to create a new user was penny44, but with this PHP function right here, SHA1, it converted whatever we uh, inserted, which my password right here, whatever it was at face value, it was just lowercase penny44, and with a combination of this PHP variable, it created this password, but you don't need this password to log in and out. It's always going to be penny44, but this is how it looks on our database for our security purposes. So go ahead and try to create a um, a user and a password. Type in something simple like dog5 or whatever, uh, village park, and go to your local host, check it out in your database, and see what it looks like in your hashed underscore password, how this PHP function uh, created your crazy password right here through its algorithm. Alright guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this works. I'll see you guys in the next video.